Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast, special lessons mini-sode. I'm your usual host, Kevin, and I have another quote for you. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It's another one that, I, that came to me first that I can remember. Again, it could have come to me before this, but it came to me first through a podcast and has also come to me from other people since then um, in various forms, including coaches I've gotten to speak to for the podcast. And it's something that I am... I don't want to say constantly, but I guess constantly, rather than say constantly thinking about, I would say that the message of this quote is always with me. I'm not always thinking about it, but its wisdom is always with me. It's, a, it's actually a question that I carry with me, which I feel like is where most great wisdom lies, not in the answers you carry with you, but your questions that you bring with you, <laughs> which is something we've talked about in the podcast before, both here in the solo sodes and with guests we could talk for, for hours, for days about that. We could, well, we could spend the rest of our lives talking about that. We probably will. But today, this quote came to me from, of all places, the Tim Ferriss show. Um, Tim Ferriss is someone you're probably all at least tangentially familiar with. Um, been around for a while, four-hour workweek guy. He's got a, a very, very, very popular podcast that frequently goes for hours, plural. Um, but with some of the most fascinating guests, the kind of people that you spend hours talking with and it feels like minutes and you wish it were days <laughs> just because it's just there's so much there to talk about. Um, but I first encountered this quote that I can remember while listening to an episode of the show. And it's something that uh, Tim Ferriss himself in various other conversations, he'll bring up himself. It, you could tell that it really stuck with him uh, when he first came to it. And it's about, it's about ease <laughs> or it's about the concept of easy and the concept of hard and how we look at things. Now, I'll just read you the quote. And it's a question. It's a pure question. It, again, this is another one that's up on my whiteboard. And it's something I've learned different ways to ask it of myself that illuminate different truths. Things I, I basically learned how to use it in ways that I didn't know when I first encountered the quote, the, the question I should accurately call it, which is something I love about it. It's, 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 uh, it's agility and the way it's kind of growing along with me, or at least my understanding of it is growing. Anyway, the question in question is this, and this can this could be spoken into just about any circumstance wherever you're talking about something that needs to be done, a task, an initiative, a project, really in anything. When you're thinking or talking about this, whatever it is, ask yourself or the people who are with you, what would this look like if it were easy? Now that can sound like, and I do believe the first time I encountered this question, I kind of bristled a little bit at this because I'm not looking for easy, you know, got this sort of like hard work ethic, which I'm, you know, it's just kind of, you know, driven into me from an early age. And it's something I like about myself. I've never been one to shy away from hard work. And based on who I talked to for this podcast, based on the coaches I've spoken to, none of you are afraid of hard work. None of you <laughs> shy away from rolling up those sleeves and getting down to business. Um, most of you are here because you love what you do and you've worked hard to be here. Um, and so I, I bristled, at least a part of me bristled a little bit when I first heard this question. And sitting with it, though, I could, I could feel something there. And so sitting with it for a time, bringing it to other people and seeing how they react to it and how they respond to it. It's really a lot more about intention and looking at a thing, a process, a project, a task, a, a, a business endeavor, an idea, whatever it is an invention, something we do every day, maybe. Maybe you're just like re-examining something and you just ask yourself, whatever this thing is I'm doing, like recording this podcast right now, what would this look like if it were easy? I'm not in a studio right now, but I have a nice mic. I have a nice computer set up. I'm just speaking into a, into a Zoom camera. I have a Zoom open, I'm recording. Um, just wearing a hoodie, <laughs> some comfortable pants. Um, I wrote some notes down. So, like I, want, I knew I wanted to talk about this quote with you guys. So I just kind of wrote some notes about what I wanted to say and just hit record. And this is how I do it now because I asked myself, you know, had a little trepidation about being on camera, about sharing my thoughts and, and feelings and sharing some of the gifts I've gotten. You know, that's always struggle with putting myself front and center in any way, which is a conversation for a different time. But I asked myself, what would this, this is a good thing, right? And like I talked, you know, talking with, you know, uh, Michael, the managing partner of Boxer and other people here at Boxer about, you know, what, what we, other things that we can do with this podcast feed. And we decided this is a pretty good idea. And so I decided to do it. We decided to do it. And so I asked myself as I was starting, what would this look like if this were easy for me? 
And so I was like, you know, doing things the way that I basically do it now, where it's like I have, I let good ideas, good thoughts, good feelings, good quotes, good messages, good systems. I let good people bring me great things, <laughs> which is a, which is a big part of what this podcast has turned out to be all about for me. Selfishly speaking, I get all these gifts every time I talk to one one of these coaches, one of you coaches. It's lovely. Um, but then thinking about, okay, what does this look like for me when this is easy? Still valuable, still you know work. It still requires effort, but let's not make this harder than it needs to be. That's another like sort of tangential quotes. I have something similar to that written up on um, my, dry, my dry erase boards. Like don't make this, and this is just kind of underlined. Don't make this, whatever it is. Don't make it harder than it has to be or harder than it actually is. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, love the hard work, but also see if you could figure out what this looks like if it's easy, if it feels easy, if it goes smoothly, you know, looking at obstacles, friction. Um, there's going to be some friction in certain places, but you really you want to look at things in such a way where you're, and this is a bit of a, I don't like using this word in this context, but I actually think it's pretty relevant. Optimizing. I know that has a lot, optimizing has kind of, you know, been borrowed by, you know, a sort of self-improvement hacks or whatever. Um, and, and also optimizing is a word that gets thrown around a lot for, you know, it's like a, a little bit of maybe a marketing mumbo jumbo word, which is probably what my, what my hesitancy in, in using it is. I try to stay away from like branding and marketing jargon whenever possible, but this is kind of about optimizing. But I like the challenge that the question, what would this look like if it were easy? I like the way it challenges me. I like the way the challenger brings to the table because you're not trying, you're not looking for an easy way out. You're looking for the best way in. And I say, I, I change that the best because sometimes the best way in is sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it just flows. Sometimes it's not. Ask the question though. Ask yourself the question. Ask your colleagues the question. Ask your partners the question. And quite frankly, you'll be amazed. Maybe you won't be. I was amazed by how, how my vision of things, how my process of going about doing things, how it has changed and continues to change and evolve as I allow myself to be asked that question. So wanted to share it with you. I think I've rambled long enough. Um, I'll probably come back to this at some point in some other way. <laughs> I'm almost certain that I will, but for now, I will talk to you again very soon.